Alright everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Overly Modern Repentance. Today we're gonna hop in his Eden again, because you know how we feel about them. I just think they're a great character, and it's just fun to have random start and stuff. The fact that we have cancer and still not a good fire rate is actually kind of funny. But anyway, today's question of the day is, what is your favorite type of candy? Now, there's gonna be someone out there that's like, I don't like sweets. Tough shit. Uh, yeah, if they answer the question. It's, it's a legally binding contract. Um, you can just say the one with your favorite name, like Snickers is kind of a funny name, you know what I mean? Like... Just something. You just got. You got to entertain me a little here, all right? I I, I spent hours a day recording. I just I need the the validation of you answering my question, please. I please. Um, no. But what's your, what's your favorite candy? Um, I would say for me, without a doubt, it's Reese's. Reese's of any variety. These include Reese's Puffs or Reese's Cake. Obviously, Reese's, Reese's Pieces, Reese's Take Five, Reese's uh, little the the layer ones, the ones that aren't like a full Reese's cake, but they are cake. Good. I was kind of totally going for that. Um, no. Um, okay, anyway, sorry. I, I, just, read, I just read a text and completely forgot I was recording for about three seconds. Uh, yeah, but Reese's are just super good. Um, I'd never go near that again. Um, I don't know what it is about them, but since I was a child, I love them. And now you might be thinking, well, it's clearly the peanut butter chocolate flavor, and I completely agree. However, on its own, like, I like peanut butter, and in fact, I eat it a lot for someone who's about to say I don't love peanut butter. But, like, I don't love peanut butter. I think peanut butter is good, don't get me wrong, for sure. Do I think peanut butter is great? No, I, th I think it is just good. Um, so, I don't know why Reese's have always my all-time favorite candy, but they have been. Um, and now I have, like, three topics I want to talk about. Um, a video game, uh, two video games, because it was surprising in gaming time, I was talking about video games. Two video games, and then, uh, candy, actually. And I know we should start with the candy, because, like... Well, we're talking about, you know, like it just makes sense. We're going to actually save that for later because I am pissed. I liked Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl for Pokemon games. I thought they were very solid. Um, I know a lot of people didn't, but I liked them. When I heard Arceus was coming out soon after them, I was a little annoyed because I knew I wouldn't get all the time to play uh, BDSB as much as I would want to. And you know what happened? Please be there. Thank you. You know what happened? The Diamond and Pearl came out, and I didn't have as much time to play the games as I had wanted. I mean, the RCs came out, and I didn't have much time. I didn't have as much time as I wanted to to play the game. Um, so like that was definitely annoying. But at the end of the day, it was kind of like, okay, but you know, it was still a good game. So why am I complaining? Fair point. Um, well, we got Bone Hurting Juice. So you, I hope you can understand now. No, but uh, it's just like you want time to play your Pokemon game. Especially for a series like Pokemon, for someone that shiny hunts, and not Narcissus, because Arceus doesn't count as a game. I don't think- you can't shiny hunt Narcissus. You can get shinies, but there's no hunting. Um, and you might be thinking, like, oh, what about Alphas? Man, nah, fuck off. The problem is, I didn't have enough time to enjoy Arceus, and I think a lot of people felt the same way. And that only became problematic when they did it again. Once sucks. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Doing it again, are you fucking, like, are you serious? They just announced Gen 9. Something that, there has not been a generation for Pokemon that, even though I didn't like two of the generations that much, I wasn't a huge fan of Unova and I straight up didn't like Kalos. But like, I was excited when they were announced, even though I didn't end up liking them, whatever, even you know, I didn't follow them too closely, I was still excited. Um, I'm not excited in the fucking slightest. I have not had, like, I have not finished Arceus, are you kidding me? Um, yeah, like... I could be trying harder to finish Arceus, but I'm also not trying to completely rush the game. I haven't even finished- I haven't started the post-game stuff. I'm still working on my Pokédex, and they're like, Hey yo, we're gonna release Gen 9 this year. Yes, it's a full year. But with Pokémon games, and especially with the games of the Shiny on thing, and I know I just said Arceus doesn't have Shiny on thing, but like, uh, there are the Alpha Hunts, okay, I was just being a bitch. Pokémon games, especially people that Shiny on and stuff like that, a year, like, you can play the game in a year and still have more stuff you want to do. Once a new game comes out, it's like, what are you gonna, like, you're gonna, you need to move to that game, especially a new generation, there's so many new Pokemon to learn, you need, there's all new shiny forms, you're gonna wanna switch to it. And that straight up just upsets me. I have not even watched the reveal trailer yet, I know nothing about the starters. Cause I'm like, I'm just upset, like, I, I just, I want to be able to play Arceus for a little longer. Like, like uh, the Shaman event just came out on BDSP and I didn't even hear about it, why? Cause there's still new Arceus news, now there's Gen 9 news. The Shaman event releases. And I don't even hear about it. Like, yeah, come on, Pokemon. What the fuck are you doing? It just seems so stupid. Give me a key. 
Thank you. We'll take this. We'll take this. We'll go angel deal. Um, it just seems ridiculous. Also, I think we go to here because we, yeah, we don't. I think we go to the shop because we can probably buy another key and work. Oh, yeah, we do go there, though. We're, that was intentional. I wanted to hurt myself and damage the things that are, like, killing most things for me. It was really smart if you think about it. Um, okay, so there is a bomb, which is cool. We'll buy a three cent bomb and start re-rolling. We can potentially get five cents for this bomb if we need to. Realistically, we would just get a key now. Yep, okay. So we got a bomb, got a key. We can get into the- dude, I actually thought I was the mola, mola bitch for like 12 minutes. Okay, we're good. Um, all this for Star Cloak. Star Cloak is actually pretty good upon getting hit. You have the chance to activate Cry the Sky effect. Luck does affect it, and negative luck does affect it negatively, so we do need to work on our luck set a little bit, but that's fine. But yeah. I'm upset. Did we get a damage up for that heart? That's kind of cool. I am upset about the 9th gen, uh, like, 9th gen releases being announced. I really am. As a Pokemon fan, that is the worst thing ever. To know you were upset for what should be the most hype moment of, like, forever for you, you know what I mean? Like, n the next generation of Pokemon is always super hype, and as a Pokemon fan, I guess some people are, like, the people that are, like, Oh, like, I'm not excited for the main series games because they're the same thing every year. Oh, yeah, they they are with slight differences. Yep. And they always have been. And that's nothing new. And it and it doesn't deter me from liking them at all. Um, I if you're like, if you've been playing Pokemon for a long time, I don't think you're the kind of person that would complain about that. I feel like the people that complain about that, how the main series games are the same, are the kind of people that haven't really been playing for a long time because like. The differences are notable. Whether or not you like them, they're notable. Like Mega Evolution, uh, Z moves, Dynamax, um, new shiny hunting methods getting announced, like stuff like that. It's stuff that you, dude. I keep thinking I'm them. It's. I know it doesn't seem like something I should like. That, that's easy to do. Confuse myself with the with the people, but like I barely look at my screen when I'm playing this game, uh, and I see something moving as I'm pressing the arrow keys. So you can imagine, like you know, it's it's pretty it's it's pretty sad. But uh, yeah. So. Basically, I'm upset about Pokemon. Now, moving on to no other news. Uh, I don't. Okay, I think I remember. Yeah, yeah. So we'll go with the the next news. Uh, I guess one that isn't video games, so we can split it up. The candy news. Weird that there's news about candy, right? But welcome to 2022. Um, I got the Mr. Beast chocolate. I did. I ordered it, and it finally arrived. And I have no fucking clue what to do for a video on it. I have never done a video. Uh, that was just me like I've never done a not like obviously there's some screen capture when I spin the wheel But like I've never done a video that primary focus is my fucking face like that's something I've never ever done uh, And I have no idea how to shoot the video the plan was to do a YouTube short series at first where I did uh, 18 episodes one a day of me opening one chocolate bar but like I don't know how to market that um, also it's hard to fit the opening and this the everything into it's hard to fit it all into into one minute for a shorts video. So like at the end of the day, it's probably not gonna be a short series, but I want it to be. And like if it's not a short series, how do I market it past then? It's like I genuinely just have no idea how to market the video and how to like how to how to treat the video. I don't know. Like I, I have no idea what to do with the video. I have four days recorded already, but I don't know if I want to do one long video or. 18 short videos. Pete's Blessing, uh, no. That could get really bad really fast. We'll just take Salvation and play it safe. I, I reinstalled my mods, and I still don't think that mod's updated, which is so fucking weird and stupid, because, like, it 100% should've, because I did reinstall it twice now. In fact, they got completely deleted off my computer with all my mods temporarily, which is a weird thing, but it did happen. Um, so I'm unsure as to why, but that's fine. Um, I will do... I'm getting a new... S oh, I actually gotta check my... Phone. Well, I know it's like mid-recording, don't check your phone, whatever, but, um, I have a product, a product? What the, uh, I have a product placement in this video. Hello, guys, today we're sponsored by McDonald's. Okay, um, I just had to check my, uh, my package, because I'm getting a delivery soon, and I, it's like a hundred dollar package, and I don't need that, uh, getting stolen, you know what I mean? Serious liquid is good enough to take is re-rolling with this little stuff would result in disaster and we're gonna go to the next floor Yeah, let's just leave Um, but yeah, so I don't want my package getting stolen and the best way to uh, Confirm it doesn't get stolen is to make sure I'm there when it gets delivered So I'm gonna keep watching my phone because uh, Amazon will be like a hey, 10 stops away and once they're like four stops away I'll pause the recording assuming it happens mid recording which it might not because 
Uh, it's like another 40 minutes till the earliest estimated delivery time. So we're we're pretty we're we're almost we're almost guaranteed to be fine. But I'm just just making sure. Uh, I usually hate Friend Finder. Let me tell you, 90% of our damage is coming from Friend Finder. Like at least 90, if not more. Um, Friend Finder is just absolutely erasing everything. And you know what? I'm so okay with it. Like, typically, once again, I would not like Friend Finder on an average day. But, like, oh my... One, one day, all of our friends will get erased within, like, two seconds, right? And then we'll feel very weak because we lost everything. But for now, I'm just going to be happy that we have this much damage from uh, an item I would, in general, consider pretty bad. Like, it's it's always nice when you get an item that you've looked at for the entire time you played Isaac and gone, that's not good, and then go, man, that was really good. It's such a good feeling, and it's one of the... I was gonna say few, but no, I think I like a handful of things with Isaac, but it's one of the things I think Isaac did the best where... No, I, there's other... Okay, I don't know. I'm trying to give Isaac credit here, but then I'm... That's literally every single one of them. That's so sad. Um, I was trying to give Isaac credit here and saying that, like, you can go through so much time and, like, find out a lot of new things, but, uh, against Isaac, because I... There's gotta be a, a, ne a positive and a negative person here, but there's only me, so I have to be both. Um... Every roguelike does this pretty well. Where even after X amount of hours, you're like, man, how did I never know that? You know what I mean? Like most roguelikes just do that super well, I think. And I love that about roguelites. Can I just get infinite rock spiders? Or is there a limit to like two? Oh, wow. Um, I just got information right now uh, that Arceus has been fixed in terms of shiny up thing. And I'm... Uh, like, I'm, uh, I, I'm sorry, I'm, like, taken back, I didn't fucking know. I am super happy about that. That's super good, I'm, like, that was too overpowered, uh, I, but I'm, like, a little just shocked and wasn't ready for it, but, like, that's genuinely really good. Um, Arceus, the, the shiny hunting was too easy, now they fixed it so you can't reset the same outbreak. Shiny up thing's still gonna be easy, because you can just reset for different outbreaks, I'm assuming, but, like, that's definitely a step in the right direction, uh, for sure, so that's good. But also, that gives me more reason to want to play fucking Arceus, and, like, you know, it's, uh, but now they're releasing Gen 9, wow, okay, anyway, back to the chocolate thing. I just have no idea how I want to record the video, so I'm either gonna do a full-length video or a bunch of shorts, but I don't even know if I can fit them in YouTube shorts, so, like, I don't want to release shorts as in, like, a minute and a half long videos, because that seems weird. Right? But I can't, I might not be able to release shorts as in YouTube shorts because they need to be under a minute or else you can't release them in shorts. So, another secretion one. We get it all the time. I'm loving it. Also, it turns out the uh, secretion, see how it does that and then runs out of charge right there? Um, turns out that is actually because of a, uh, what's it called? Uh, a mod interaction where one of the mods is fucking with it. Why do we have pop now, by the way? Like, actually, why do we have pop though, if we're going to be real? Like, why? where did pop come from? Like... <laughs> Someone want to tell me? Oh, why do I? Why do I have an item wisp? Huh? That's weird. Oh well. Um, but yeah. So Arceus got fixed the shiny hunt thing. And if anyone and anyone that complains uh, has never sat through an actual shiny hunt because here's the thing, right? You could get a shiny in like 20 minutes easily with that. That is not a shiny. Like in my opinion, the most important part of it a shiny is the fact that. It is rare, because without it, it's just a color swap. And, like, is that fine? Yeah, it's a color swap. Color swaps can be nice, too. But, like, the whole point of shinies, uh, when they were released, especially when they were released, considering how rare the odds were when the game first came out, right? But, uh, when shinies were released, the whole point is, hey, this is a really rare thing that, like, you'd be lucky to even come across in one of your runs, right? One of your runs through Pokemon. So, now it all of a sudden just became, hey, it's this pretty-looking thing. And, like, yeah, it looks pretty, but, like, the whole point where, at first was it being rare, not pretty. In fact, it was so poor that, that at first, Pokemon didn't even have pre, like, preset color palettes for Shinies. They had randomly generated color palettes. That's how much it wasn't meant to be, um, hey, this thing looks good. It was literally just supposed to be rare. Um, and then over time it changed. They got, like, preset color palettes because people were like, hey... You know, that's fucking stupid. Like, we're hunting for this. We, we spent hours getting this, and it looks like shit. But, uh, yeah. So, I'm just... Uh, I'm happy that Arceus is taking it back a little. Outbreak odds didn't change, unfortunately. So, it's still gonna be... Did not need to use that, but that's fine. So, it's still gonna be the same story of, like, hey... 
you want a shiny, reset for an outbreak, farm the outbreak, reset for an outbreak, farm the outbreak. It's just you're no longer going to have... I guess all it really changed was you're no longer going to have the choice of which shiny you get. So if you're going to want a shiny, now it's going to be like, okay, well, what outbreak do I have? Okay, let's try to get that. Oh, didn't get it. What's next? Like, that's going to be the new shiny hunting meta where you can't, like... I'm kind of upset. I'm not upset about that. I'm fine with that. I'm just kind of upset that I didn't get Piplup sooner because I already have uh, Chimchar and Turtwig, so not getting a Piplup is going to be really annoying, but... At the same time, if I go and get the shiny charm, which I'm working on, get dex uh, level perfect for Piplup, and then go walk to where Piplup spawns, I will get a shiny within like two hours. I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume so, maybe not two hours. But like, if you, you, uh, if you watch Pokemon YouTube at all, you might know who Absol Blocks Pokemon is. Uh, Absol Blocks Pokemon uh, recently has been doing shiny quests where it's a one shiny from each, uh, one shiny from each area with no perfect dex entries, I believe. Uh, no uh, shiny charm, and he's racing against a friend. And the longest one so far took like 14 hours. And that was for him, that, and then he lost. So 14 hours for five shinies, that's like a little over two hours of shiny without perfect decks, without shiny charm. Um, obviously he didn't choose the shiny, like he just got whatever showed up, but like, you get what I'm saying, right? Like That is just random encounter, and it's still not that long for shiny. And that was without like cutting the odds by four, <laughs> you know? So once you get, like, imagine you had a perfect Pokédex, right? Imagine getting an absolutely perfect Pokédex and having a Shiny. Obviously, you'd have a Shiny Charm on it, right? Um, but imagine that. You are going to find a Shiny everywhere you go. Every single place you go, you're going to find a Shiny. You can walk around probably find, like, 50 Shinies in a day, and I don't think that's an over-exaggeration. Um, if every Pokémon has, like, a 1 in... I forget the exact chance, but 1 in very fucking low chance to uh, be a Shiny when you're walking around an open-world game with, like... Up to a dozen Pokemon loaded at once. You're gonna you're gonna find them quickly, right? So uh, I'm I'm happy this took a step in the right direction, but like, as you can tell by uh, that very great, totally accurate math right there, it's not gonna mean that you can't find shinies, which uh, obviously isn't necessarily a bad thing for everyone. But like, I do wish they had gone for the route of you could only get one outbreak a day. That and I and you should and if you want to be able to reset it, uh, maybe that would be okay. I don't know, but like. Even if you could only get one outbreak a day, right? That gives you a reason to log into the game every day. It makes shinies more rare while keeping the 1 in 500 odds, but it's only once a day. I don't think that would be problematic. I don't think that'd be much to complain about. You'd still be getting shinies, like, at least once a week, which isn't that bad, because it's not like you'd be spending... Like, the thing people complain about, which is literally the point behind shiny hunting, by the way, so, like, if you complain about this, you just don't like shiny hunting, which means, like, if you don't like shiny hunting, you probably shouldn't have shinies, because, like, the whole point of shiny hunting is to get the shinies, but in order to get a shiny, you need a shiny hunt. Um... The whole point about Shiny Hunt thing is like, you know, uh, well, the biggest complaint is, oh boy, I don't want to spend that much time. Which, once again, that's kind of like the point of Shiny Hunt thing. But whatever, I'll indulge you for a second. You don't want to spend that much time. If a daily, if, if there's daily outbreaks, once a day you get an outbreak. Like BDSP, you have this one Pokemon a day, except different because it would be only you can encounter like one, one uh, swarm a day. If there's daily outbreaks, you would not spend much time Shiny Hunt thing because you'd only be putting at max like 10 minutes a day, right? Um while keeping the odds and still getting a good, like, a good few shinies a week while not getting 20 shinies in a day and ruining shinies for you. And, like, you know, because now they're just, like, okay, well, they're not special. Um, I think that'd be good. Also, it would make it so, obviously, they already did this, but it would make it so you wouldn't be able to choose uh, who your shiny was, so that would really weed out the shiny hunters from the people that like color palettes. Because, as of right now, if you think a shiny looks good, you'll hunt that shiny. But, uh, it real, like... People that just shiny on for the thrill of the chase, right? Um, they shiny on, they will, you know, you would shiny on fucking anything, no matter what day of the week it is, unless you already had, like, a few of them, you probably wouldn't shiny on it, but no matter what day of the week it is, you'd go, damn, I want that shiny because it's a shiny. And I think, I think it'd be good. I think it'd be a good change. The people that aren't super into shiny hunting and just want to have shinies, you know what I mean? They would still have something going for them where, uh, what's, uh, we'll check boss rush. We don't ever do. Let's see. Tank boys, never again. I don't like Blood of the Abyss. We've had it a lot recently. It's, it's good. It's just not entertaining. Okay, we'll we'll go. Um, but yeah, the people that like shiny hunting, like actually the hunting part would be happy because every day they'd have something to go into while in the meantime they could hunt alphas or something using resets. Um, and the people that don't really like shiny hunting and just like getting shinies, uh, they would just, bam, a few minutes every day. A shiny a couple times a week. There would be, there'd be no problems with that. You know what I mean? Like, they'd be totally happy with that, I think. Uh, they, maybe they would complain, but... 
Everyone complains about something, right? There's always something that'll, someone that'll complain about something, but you know, either way, obviously it's not gonna happen, but I'm just saying I really think personally, that's how I would like it best to be because I think I just, I think it, I think it would upset the least crowds of people. Obviously, I mean, I think I am like, out of everyone I know, the most upset about the shiny odds of BD, and not BDSB and not Legends RCS, which is fair. And I get where people are coming from saying I want like 30 million shinies, but like for me, I already have lost excitement getting a shiny like if i and i and i know a lot of you are the same way and, and a lot of people just aren't admitting it yet if i find a shiny in the wild i am not happy like i'm not uh, i'll randomly come across a shiny even one in 40 96 odd shinies ones that i don't have dex perfect or anything i don't have a shiny charm right now even those shinies i will randomly come across look at and go okay and then walk away like well i'll catch it obviously but then i'll walk away like nothing happened and this is like the first game where I genuinely haven't cared at all about getting a shiny randomly. Obviously, like, you're not gonna get, like, too overexcited when, like, you get one via Outbreak because, like, you know it's coming, but you'd still expect to get excited over, like, non-Outbreak, but I don't even get excited over that, and that's the problem. I found the most excited I've been for a shiny recently was I entered the Obsidian Fieldlands. Also, sorry this entire episode has been about Pokemon. I kind of knew that was gonna happen once so much Pokemon dudes got dropped to me. But yeah, like, um, I entered the Obsidian Fieldlands, and then there was an Alpha Bidoof that was a shiny. That was, like, my most exciting moment, for sure. And even that wasn't, like, even that, I was like, oh my god, wow, it's, it's, it's an Alpha Bidoof. Like, that was it. It was nothing like the Reggies, the, the Reggies I got on stream, or anything like that, right? Nothing like that. And I just, I am a little sad about that. At the end of the day, it's kind of whatever, right? But, uh... I could end my Pokemon rant now and move on to Project Zomboy, which is something I want to talk about. I... I... We'll just... I'm just gonna use... It. Oh! Soul of the Broken! It's just like the broken character got his own soul, because so it's like pretty fucking cool. Um... But like... Yeah, so... Project Zomboy is a game that I'm... Super into recently. I don't know why. Well, I know why. They got the multiplayer updates and more people started playing it, so in turn I started watching more because it was on YouTube and in my feed more, and then by watching it I got super excited by it. I'm not even like... I don't think I'd ever want to play it solo is the problem. I think I'd only play it with friends, but I don't really have friends, so that doesn't work out. But, you know, like, I've been watching that game. I've been watching Retromation specifically played. If you guys don't know who Retromation is, he is a YouTuber that is really fucking cool and plays a bunch of roguelikes. Like, and I mean, like, hey, he will find roguelikes that I swear to God he fucking made himself. Like, and they don't exist. Like, he'll pull, like, 30 new roguelikes, roguelikes out of his pocket in, like, a week. I'm, I'm impressed by him, seriously. But in general, he's a really fantastic content creator and a really cool guy, and... He did Project Zomboid videos, so I've been watching his Project Zomboid series, and he has two series going. He is part of the Wholesome Verse, if you guys know what that is. It's like Alexa, Rhapsody, uh, fucking Rito, and like 20 million other people. It's a great, great people like everyone there, but anyway, he, he, the Wholesome Verse is a, uh, does a, I almost said Walking Dead series, it's a Project Zomboid series. Where? No, I'm done. I know we are probably close, but I can't fucking find it. I wanted to save that, but like, I just could not find the exit. I tried. Um, but yeah, so they do a Project Zomboid series with multiplayer, and it is like a hardcore sty uh, style series where if you die, you're dead. And I binged the shit out of it recently, because it's like eight hours of content, and I watched it in like a day and a half. And that's not like that bad, right? Because like I watch it while I'm doing stuff. But like, you know, it's still a bit of a binge. And I'm also on like episode 10 of something of his solo series, and that's where it gets bad, because I started that in the same day. And, uh... That is also hour-long episodes, I believe, so, you know, like, oopsie. But, uh, yeah, so, I've been watching a Project Zomboid series, and it looks like so much fucking fun, and basically all I want to say is that, uh, Project Zomboid is, their multiplayer update is not perfect, I mean, the mics, like, the, the, what's it called, the, the talking near people place thing is awful. Like, it's just horrendous, and if you watch Rito's videos, uh, on, on the Wholesome Verse, uh, Walking Dead type shit, the wholesome den is that what it's called maybe i don't really read the title i, I click on it and i and i watch for an hour and then get obsessed when like get obsessed with certain characters and then they die and i'm like oh damn but uh yeah so it's shit um if you watch rita's videos the the voice is shit it's not on his end it's 100 percent the in-game comms like that's what he years do it's just it's just how it be and he can't really change that uh so be warned that does suck but at the same time it kind of, like, first episode, it sucks. By the second episode, you kind of are used to it. And by the third episode, it becomes, like, uh, actually funny. So, uh, it definitely didn't deter me. Like, if you watch 10 seconds of it, it might annoy you. If you watch, like, 
two episodes of it, it won't annoy you at all. So, why am I uh, advertising this video so much? Because I need, I don't know, I, <laughs> so someone can talk to me about it, and then my friends will watch them, will fucking watch it, because they don't really watch uh, that type of shit. But, uh, yeah, like, you know, hop in the Discord, be like, hey, yo, this person died, this sucks, and I'll be like, yeah, bro. Um, so yeah, just a friendly reminder to go watch that series so I have someone to talk to about it. Uh, but yeah, on top of that, I do think I want to play Project Zombie eventually. Maybe for the channel. If I do, it would have to be a multiplayer thing, so I'd have to find out who I would... Well, like, who I would play with. I don't know. I have a couple ideas of people I could ask that we can start, like, a series with, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, basically, at the end of the day, I just want to play Project Zombie multiplayer. Because, like, it doesn't... I've played the game alone. It doesn't hit as good as it could as if you're playing multiplayer. Like, I can already tell. Like, with, even without ever playing multiplayer... I'm not saying the multiplayer is good, by the way, like, in terms of how well it's made, because I know the uh, the positional audio and shit is just whack, but, like, it just, the game always needed multiplayer, like, it, it always was designed for multiplayer, you could tell, it, just, it felt like multiplayer was one of those things that it had in mind, and then it just never did, and now it does it, and I'm super, super, duper excited, so, yeah, basically, I want to do a multiplayer Project Zomboid series, but I'm also so bad at scheduling and planning things that me doing a series to someone else, I can't imagine that would ever go well. I will try, don't get me wrong. Never said I wouldn't try, but I'm just saying it probably wouldn't go well. So, hopefully, hopefully one day I actually go uh, out of my way and do that and, like, start scheduling that because I am, like, really bad at scheduling things like I just said. So, if you guys ever see that on my channel, you should be actively proud. Uh, we're just gonna go up today. Veil of Darkness, Grant's Curse of Blight. That's, like, not that good, right? Like, it just... I feel like it should give you more damage, right? Because it's two hearts and a permanent curse for, like, potentially black powder and a .5 damage up, right? I feel like that should give you, like... It, I don't think a one damage up would be overpowered. Sorry, but that was sipping my coffee. Um, yeah, I don't think a one damage that would be overpowered. I think it would... For a permanent curse, you know what I mean? Like, a permanent curse... It... It's a, it's a big thing. Like, that, that's something that's gonna affect you for the rest of the run. And what did I get for it? I can circle enemies and, like, cover them in powder and then run away. Like, that. that's not... It's not a lot, is my point. Um, also, yeah. Friend Finder did stop being useful after, like... A few floors in, but good to know if you get it early, it could actually like low key carry you. Cause I, I would, I would genuinely say, early on we were carried by friend finder. Now our run's like fine, you know. Um, I think you know what this episode really taught us was how to build an army in this game. Cause we built an army, and like the, you know, even the greatest of armies will fall eventually. So ours did fall, but I would say they did so much of a good job carrying us that the army was, uh, it was, it was great, and it'll, it'll be missed for sure. I, in fact, I already miss it. But, uh, yeah, I, I did I did really like using Friend Finder. I think if I see it, there's a chance I take it now. Which doesn't sound like that big of a thing until you realize that before there was literally no chance I would have ever taken it. Glad those fires are still there. I was actually worried they'd be gone and they wouldn't be able to hit me, to be honest. So, but, oopsie, yeah, press the full screen button, you idiot. Um, alright. What's in here? Nothing. Yeah. I'm just, uh, I'm just super tired. I'm, <laughs> um, honestly... I think I've made it this far in the episode without too much uh, awful commentary, but I am running on empty now. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like I am running on fucking, I'm running on nothing. So hopefully, I'm just hoping I can get through the rest of this episode. You know what I mean? Like just one episode. Circle him, circle him. Make fun of Black Pattern. Are you gonna use it? Yoink! Ow! Yeah, say yoink. See where that gets you. Okay. Well, the plan here was to Black Pattern until he got in this corner. Now you can see the issue. Isaac be somewhere black powder, but oh, you absolute buffoon. You absolute buffoon. Get powdered, you idiot. I don't think I can even hit him with black powder there. Why am I throwing? Um, don't fucking ask. Don't. Yeah. Wait, was that everything that I wanted to talk about today? I missed something? No, I got everything. We got Starcross, Star, and Ludovico. Ludovico sucks. I'm done with it. I used to be, a, a, like, not a Ludo fan, but a Ludo respecter. You know what I mean? Like, I never loved Ludo, but I always, I took it, I respected it, I treated it nicely, I, I bought it, uh, chocolates on Valentine's Day. Me and Ludo, we were close. And then it fucking betrayed me and was ass, basically. Um, I hate it. Give me something good? Oh, this is, a uh, swirly, meaty question mark. Gussy blood, exactly. Um, pretty much the same thing. But, uh, yeah, if, 
Actually, I mean, I can all. I forgot I could fucking ask you guys questions, like you can respond in comments and shit. Um, if I were to do a Project Zomboid series, who would be interesting? Because I know there are some Project Zomboid fans in, on the channel, because I've talked to you guys in the Discord before. I was curious if you would be interested. Because if there's like two people that are interested, that's enough for me. I to, when you're when you're a small YouTuber, you just need like one yes, and then you're like, yep, okay, that, that's enough for me, dude. We've done it. We, uh, I've got I've gotten fucking want for the series. We we have made it big time. Oh my god. So our run isn't necessarily uh, cracked, as the kids would say, but you know it's okay. I would say as well. Uh, now I, maybe I'm the kids. Nope. Oh boy. Salvation is an item that I really wish I had unlocked in my like actual save file. Not that I've played my actual save file in like three years, but like, you know, salvation is really darn good. You know, it's just like oh good. It's just just a ten out of ten. It's one of those items that first of all gets better every time you get hit, which is great for a player like me because stuff like that, you know. Um, which you really want to get hit there because that was our bone heart. Book of the book. Yep. Monster Man is a better friend finder. So what well, is that a tech X baby? That is the best thing I've ever seen. Um, but yeah, so here's something good. That's uh Ankle of the Wind. That's smart fly. I tried. I tried. <laughs> I tried. Yeah, Ankle of the Wind, smart fly. Pretty much the same item if you actually really think about it. Okay, now we have a tech X baby, which means I don't think we can lose if I remember correctly, which is good. Um, I'm hoping. Here's the thing. Well, there's a good chance we lose this round. I'm gonna be real with you. If we do, I don't really care. Um, I threw a little, and it was funny, and it was worth it. Like, you know, worst case scenario, we lose. Whatever. You saw the Isaac fight. I took, like, three hits of damage on purpose because I could. And if, and if we lose because of that, that's a good way to go out, right? Because then you can't... Because then you can be like, yo, I meant to do that. And then people can, like... Like, at least one person will believe you. Or they can give me Sacred Art right here, right now. I don't know how, but they could. No. Okay, got it. There's enough modded shit going on to the point where they could definitely give me Sacred Art if they really wanted to. So whatever he just did, he spawned it inside of me, and I uh, would like to sue him forever because that did not seem very nice, and I'm not happy. Uh, I swear to God, he cheated. You saw it first. He actively went, ah, I'm gonna spawn this thing inside of you, and that's uh, in my head cheating. Okay, what do you do here? I don't know what's his and what's mine in terms of uh, toxic waste. Does he leave creep? Yeah, he does. That's good. Um, I actually thought that was all mine. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, man, I left a lot of toxic waste. Very glad to know that it wasn't that. I, is there a mod out there that shows like what creep is yours? Because like if there is, that's like a ne necessity, dude. Th th that is one of the biggest shortcomings of this game, where the devs kind of forgot that enemy creep was a thing, and that they made your creep look exactly like enemy creep. Your green creep looks like enemy green creep. Your red creep looks like enemy red creep. And I produce both, and so do the enemies. So you can imagine where the trouble start coming in. Gimme. Damn. That's just spiders, but I'll try. Oh, okay. I'm like, listen, we're gonna, we're gonna. Tr Actually, I'm not gonna say that because I'll be admitting defeat. We're gonna lose, guys, and it's totally not my fault. You know, it was for a funny haha. -ha, you know, that, that's that's all that happened. Just a funny haha. -ha. We're definitely not gonna actively try to pull this back now and win for sure because we're going for the funny haha -ha moment where we lose because it's just it's uh it's better content, right? I think we're gonna go down. I also think there theoretically could be a secret room like roughly right here somewhere. Yeah, I tried. That was a horrible bomb placement too. It's just that part of the wall looked correct. You know what I mean? At least salvation is really big. That's actually one of the reasons we've been taking so much damage. I wanted to get a really big salvation because, uh, you know. <laughs> because, you know, that's totally real and uh, definitely the truth and not at all a lie good yeah, yeah yeah oh man i this this run is uh this is definitely a little close for sure um i i've had less health on a run though on the chest i believe and one so as long as it's the worst i've done so you guys we got a harlequin baby and headless baby so like who the fuck texts me? that's not even my text noise so i don't know what no, kind of notification that was but it's on my other phone so I, I actually have no idea we should let that bomb explode it could reveal a uh Get out of the way it could reveal a secret room and that could have a heart in it or two not that we want to win i'm just saying you know it'd be funnier if we lost with more health because uh because then people be like how'd you fuck you do that as planned as planned there it is <laughs> 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 fucking hate myself 
Okay, uh, time to fight Blue Baby. We'll give it all we got, definitely. Ready for this? Oh, wait, we can circle him. Circle him before he starts shooting a lot of things. There we go. Easy. It's honestly just an easy game. I'm sorry I couldn't lose, you guys. You know I tried my hardest. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you please, and I'll see you next time.